Wheel of Fortune. A puzzle board rotates. With Bradley Walsh and Jenny Powell. Bradley walks to the wheel where the contestants are waiting. To those of you who asked for a signed photo, I didn't know you wanted one of me. So those of you who received pictures of Bruce Willis, Brad Pitt and Tom Jones, you can keep them. But the person who got the signed photo of my mum, could you send it back? See, I'm seeing her next week. I forgot what she looks like. Tell us what's on offer tonight, Steve. OK, Brad, we're going for that massive big wheel jackpot of £20,000 or this fabulous five-door family saloon. Great prizes. The spin of this wheel could mean a fortune or a car for one of our contestants. Who's playing, Steve? Mary Buckley from Preston loves photography and she's hoping for something to develop tonight. Ron Johnson from Slough in Berkshire. He's an airline supervisor looking for a safe landing with the wheel. And Carol Asson from Footbridge near Glasgow. She's a former maths teacher and she's hoping the equation's right tonight. The contestants wave. OK, guys, all the best during the show. Here's the first puzzle. There's also a cash pot prize in there as well. It has two words, and they are an occupation. I'll ask you a question. Who gets control of the will? By which name is the New York Stock Exchange Index known? Ron. Dow Jones. It is Dow Jones. You're in charge of the will. There you go. So uh, it's 200, unlucky. Go on, choose a letter, not a vowel. OK. T for Tommy. T for Tommy. Two T's in there. There you are, still in control. And you have your free spin disc. Yeah. There you are, mate. OK, use that whenever you feel necessary. Two. A 400. S for sugar. S for sugar. There is one S. Keep spinning, my man. Keep spinning. Second word has nine letters ending in ST. M for mother. M for mother. No M's, unfortunately. Can you free spin? Oh, you can free spin. Well played, Ron. So early in the game, you're so alert. <laughs> OK, carry on, mate. Uh, oh, and that is well played. Free spin to 700. What can I say? Not a lot. H for Harry. H for Harry. One H in there. Second word begins with H. Look out, here it comes. Ooh. <laughs> L for Lima. L for Lima, one L in there. Still in control of the wheel, you can buy a vowel if you wish one. No. OK. R for Robert. No R, Carol, back to you. But building up your points nicely there, Ron. 600. N for Norman. Two N's in there. First word is blank blank N, T blank L. And also, let me tell you, Carol, that is a cash pot prize, so before you choose a letter, can you solve it there? If you can solve it now and you want to, you win £100. No. OK, carry on and choose a letter. Now you've landed on the 200. D for Delta. OK, one D in there. Keep going, you're still in charge. First word begins with D. 700. C for Charlie. No C in there. Marie, you're in. Hi. Welcome to the game, Marie. Thank you. 200. Uh, y for Yankee. Y for Yankee. One Y in there. Mm -hmm -hmm. Second word begins H Y. Mm -mm -mm. 600. G for golf. G for golf. Yes. That noise means there are only vowels left in the puzzle. Can you solve it? Yeah, dental oh. hygienist. It is dental hygienist. <laughs> dental hygienist. Thanks very much, Jenny. Congratulations <laughs> on winning this part so far. Let's have a look at prizes for tonight, Steve. While Marie, as always, our team of prize buyers have been collecting coupons for months to come up with this. It's a half moon table, isn't it nice? It's inlaid and it's mahogany and it's got a drawer as well. Oh, what about this absolutely superb little chair with apparently wild silk cushions? Now, what makes them upset? I have no idea. And finally, this Queen Anne style chest in walnut with brass handles. Brad, have you noticed none of these guys have any friends? They're always in somebody else's house on their own. They're probably burglars. <laughs> That's why. 
But they're very nice prizes nonetheless. What do you think, Ron? Nice prizes? Flushing, yeah, it? well, that's tough, cos you ain't getting one. <laughs> OK, Marie, what prize would you like? Could I have the chest, please? You can have the chest. There are the chest for Marie. <laughs> OK, well done, Marie. Nice prize. The points have been banked for that round. Let me tell you, there's an extra bankrupt on the wheel, but also an extra thousand points. <laughs> and not only that, Jenny's prize. What about this? What a super prize. A trip to London. And to round it off, a trip to a top West End show. I don't see yours in here, Bradley. Thank you, Jen. That's very funny. Um, <laughs> if you do, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll place Jenny's prize star on the 500 in front of me. There you go. If you land on that star, the prize will be yours if you're going to solve the puzzle, which has five words and are a television show character or character show. Sorry, character show. OK, ask a question, see who gets control of the will. Who composed the violin concertos known as the Four Seasons? Ron. Vivaldi. It was Vivaldi, you're right, yes. You are in control. Ooh, 250. <laughs> T for Tommy. Two T's in there. T for two, Tommy. Keep spinning, Ron. You mad spinning fool. Oh. <laughs> you pick up the star prize. Arthur Roberts. Arthur Roberts, one R. And still in control. N for Norman. N for Norman. Three N's in there. Still in control. Unlike Reg, who's all right. You all right, Reg? All right, Reg. 800. P for Peter. P4. P's in there. 3,200 points in there. Well done. Looking good. Building up your points slightly there, nicely there, Ron. 500. Y for Yankee. Y for Yankee. There's one Y in there. Still in control. Doing a good job. 300. B for Bravo. One B. Spin that wheel, Ronnie boy. Spin that wheel. Give it a rest when I'm busy, love. Uh, M for Mother. No M's. Oh, give it a rest. <laughs> Faux pas. <laughs> OK, round to you, Carl. And there you are. Marie, would you like to pass that round? That's a free spin. Use that when you feel fit, Carol. And spin again, please. H for Harry. H for Harry. Two H's in there. Spin again. First word, H. Y. Blank, blank, blank. N, T, H. You don't need to, don't need to play that C yet. C for Charlie. C for Charlie. Three C's in there. These are 2,700 points. Spin again. Go on, Carol. K for Kilo. Two K's in there. Can I solve it, please? You can solve it. You must give me exactly what's on the board. Hyacinth, bucket or bouquet, keeping up appearances. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes, thank you, Jenny. Very quick. Hyacinth, bouquet, keeping up appearances. Well done, mate. That's just a lot of words. I wouldn't have got that. You did very, very well there. Well, right, Carol, where, did, yep. how long ago did you know that? Did you get it right at the end, or have you known it for a couple of, for a couple of goes before I've you... known it for quite a wee bit. I caught on, yes. Yeah, well, what can you call it earlier? Poor old Jenny was up my phrase. <laughs> <laughs> what prizes have we got, Steve? Well, Brad, thank you for that insight into your life. It was excellent. Now, on this show, we've had the producer's dog, the producer's cat, and then we've got the producer's mouse, but it comes with this fabulous computer, Carol. Oh, what about this? An exceptionally elegant bookcase. I'm sure you've kept all those maths jottos and exercise books from your kids over the years. You could just put them there and reminisce whenever you wanted. But if you're tired of having time in your hands, then put it where it belongs. Put it on the wall, this elegant clock with that beautiful pendulum. Well worth going for, Carol. Take your pick. Mm, not bad at all. Nice prizes. Carol, what do you want? Bookcase, please. The bookcase, OK. That's all right for you. The bookcase, perfect for you. 
Unfortunately, Ron, you don't take Jenny's star prize trip to London because you didn't get on the soccer puzzle. Carol did, but let me tell you what the state of play is at half time. In third place, Marie is on 800 points. In second place, Carol's on 5,100 points. But in the lead at the moment, putting up his points nicely, is Ron on 9,100 points. Stay with us. We'll see you in a spin of the wheel. Someone's going to win 20 grand or a car. End of part one. Wheel of Fortune, part two. Reg. Reg, it's part two. Reg, wake up, it's part two. Hello, welcome back. Yes, there's another thousand points on the wheel. Reg has already put it on. And all the points now are doubled, and Jenny has this fabulous prize. I've got a corker of a prize tonight, Brad. It's a lady's silver watch. How can I describe it? It's silver, it's a watch, but it's for ladies. So you can win that. You can win that if you land on Jenny's prize star, which is going to go on the... Uh, um, uh, 200. 200, all right, 200, there it is. And not only that, if you go on to solve, land on that and solve that puzzle, you win that marvellous watch and learn how to put it to its correct time. <laughs> yes, and now, <laughs> the moment... Now the moment we've all been waiting for, it's Bradley's box! <laughs> Thank you. The band are backstage, you don't actually see them. Yes? <laughs> And here is, here is Bradley's box. Also, if you win this, there you are, folks. I'll put the Bradley's box disc on the 400 there. If you land on that and give me a letter that actually appears in the puzzle once you land on that, you win the contents of Brad's box. All right, and I don't actually know what's in there. So, because I can't be bothered. OK, now, <laughs> first the puzzle. It has four words and it's a phrase. Who gets control of the veal? That's for people watching in Germany, the veal. <laughs> here. Here, here, eh? It's the best I can do, Reg. Stop moaning. The Booker Prize is awarded annually in which field of the arts, Ron? Literature. It is literature. You're right, mate. Yes, control of the wheel. <laughs> oh, very good, Ron. 800. M for Mike. M for Mike. No M. Carol. Oh, 500. R for Roger. Two R's in there. There you are. Point to double that. There's your free spin. There. If you'd like to hand that round to Carol, use that when you yep. feel fit. OK. Thank you, Carol. Keep spinning. You're doing a great job. Oh, very good. 1,000 points. S for Sierra. Two S's in there. There you are, 4,000 points immediately. Build 90 points nicely after being bankrupt once. Ooh, 500. L for Lima. Two L's in there as well. Another load of points. Fantastic. Keep going. Doing a great job. 750. F for Frank. No F. Free spin. Free spin. Well played. And you were just about to play the wheel, weren't you? Yeah. 800. D for Delta. Great play, Carol. D, well played. One D. Excellent. 500. N for November. Two N's in there. Second word has four letters, ending in double L. 400. W for William. Two W's in there. Building up your points. Great stuff. Both first and second words start with W. 250. V for Victor. Oh, double, don't forget, 150. Can I solve it, please? You can solve it. Wonders will never cease. There you go. Wonders will never cease. See, I don't know what they are, so I don't know how you can get them. I mean, I'm just looking at them. I think that's very difficult. I, do, do you think it's easy? I think they're, they're good. Awful. Yeah, they're good. It's good. It's good. Do you play this game at home? Yes. When you're home. Good. Well, he's he stood you in good stead for tonight. Anyway, let's see what prizes there are for Carol now, Steve. Thanks, Brad. Well, Carol... Oh, there's that dog again, Brad. Watch him. Charlie's name is. He's got a fabulous agent. Appears on every television programme with you. More than Carol Smiley. The prize is the country-style dresser. Now, speaking of dressing, you can run up a fabulous little number with this incredible electric sewing machine. Well, you've retired. Now, you can make costumes for things because you're into amateur operatics as well, aren't you? Now, the final prize, there's Charlie dashing off the set again. This pine table and chairs. Hey, it's good stuff. Our director loves Charlie. Never stays in one place for too long and doesn't ask for money. 
And there you go. Little did you know, of course, that all those pine pieces of furniture miss each other when they're not together. <laughs> so, <laughs> why do I bother? It's just a nightmare for me up here. Don't give up your day job, Brad. Well, go on. What, what prize would you like, Carl? Table and chairs, please. Table and chairs is yours. There you are. OK, guys. Are you still enjoying the game, everyone? Yeah. Yep. You, Ron? Yes, thanks. Excellent yeah. stuff. Nice to see you. Tell me, what do you do for a living? I work for British Airways in special services, looking after VIPs. All right. Oh, nice job. Nice job. Is it well paid? Uh, not too bad, thanks. Oh, good, cos you've done nothing here so far, <laughs> so it's handy, isn't it? <laughs> right, now, we are still playing for double points. Let's have a look at the next puzzle. It has six words, which is author book. OK. Once again, I asked you a question. I was only joking, Ron. <laughs> I mean, I you was. were. <laughs> OK, here we go. Which nut is the main ingredient of marzipan? Oh, carry them straight on. Almonds. It is almonds, you're right. Yes. You're in control. <laughs> oh, straight into a thousand. All right. Choose a letter, not a vowel. T for Tommy. T for Tommy. One T in there. Try over 2,000 points. Oh, another that excellent stuff. Well played. R for Romeo. Three R's. Oh, 6,000 points. Brilliant. Got to build these points up. That's what it's all about. Ooh. And unfortunately, just as I say that, your points are wiped out for this round. Marie, down to you, my darling. 250. N for November. N for November. One N in there. <laughs> uh, Thousand. Ooh, y for Yankee. Why? One Y in there. And again, you're still in control. Go on, girl. Go on, girl. <laughs> Ouch. Oh. That hurts. Wiped out for this round. Ron, you're in control. And round it comes, round it comes. You've missed it. 600, double to 12. J for Jack. J for Jack. One J in there. In control. And after the two bankrupts of the girls, you're now in the lead in this round with the points. 750, double to 1500. H for Harry. H for Harry. One of those. First word is J blank H N. I don't know what it is so far. 400. L for Lima. One L in there. Second word has two letters, the second of which is L. Ah. 500. C, C for Charlie. Two C's in there. And carry on, sir. Third word, C, blank, double R, blank. 500. D for donkey. No, D for donkey. D for donkey? 400. B for Bravo. No B in there, no double points for you. Marie, in control. You're in control, Marie. Oh, I don't believe it. <laughs> Sorry, darling, bankrupt. And Ron, back in charge. Ooh. S for sugar. One S. <laughs> and that means there is a speed round coming up, so what I'm going to have to do is I spin the wheel. And where the number lands, that is the letters that you're playing for. That's what they're worth. And they are worth 600. You're still in control, Ron. P for Peter. And that's 600 doubled, of course, don't forget. So that's two of those in there. Five seconds to solve it, if you can. John Le Carre, a perfect spy. Excellent stuff. Perfect. Brilliant. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Thank you, Jenny. There you are, John Le Carre. A perfect spy. Nice one, Ron. Thank Congratulations. That's much. excellent stuff. And uh, so, what is it exactly you do at Heathrow? Look after VIPs. You look after VIPs? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Excellent stuff. And what, uh, so, what, they just come fly in? Is that this certain passport thing they do? And... Uh, when they check in and then going through to the departure lounge. Oh, right. Who have you met? Um, Cher is one of the people I met, one of the nicest people I met. Really? I thought she was very nice. How did she get on through the old uh, metal detector thing? <laughs> well, she didn't melt. Well, she's all, yeah, she didn't melt. She's the only woman I know waves and her leg goes like that. <laughs> OK, what prizes are there for, from tonight, Steve? <laughs> well, Brad, we've got some super prizes. Ron, obviously, you have to keep your uniforms in excellent shape, so this wardrobe could be the perfect place to put them to give you that airline crisp appeal. 
And what have we here? Well, a remarkably elegant chest and mirror. Ah, uh, yes, or mirror on the wall. But you might fancy this. My dear, you may have traveled here before. We can take you to that wonderful city of Copenhagen where you can enjoy a fantastic time out. Have fun, take your pick, they're all for you. And you're right, Steve. Yeah, nice prizes. Wonderful, wonderful Copenhagen. What are you going to choose, Ron? I'll take the wardrobe, please. you take the wardrobe. Very good choice. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Why, are you hoping to go to Narnia or something? <laughs> OK. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to go to Copenhagen, he wants to go to Narnia. <laughs> OK. We, uh, nice, yeah, it's a good choice. OK, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's call up the bank and see who's going through to play for the big prize. Let's call up that bank, cos we don't know where it's. Marie's on 800 points. Ron's 17, 800. 18, 800, isn't that? That's unbelievable. Carol, you go through to play for the big prize. Excellent stuff. Yeah. Marvellous stuff. <laughs> see, we just don't know. We just don't know what's happening, OK, but you're not going away empty-handed. Have you enjoyed your day so yeah, far? Yeah. Oh, I play I'm pleased because it's been a I've really enjoyed that game. It's been good. You enjoyed yeah, it, Marie? I did very Excellent. Much. Well, you don't go away empty-handed, my darling. Of course you don't. You take away our walnut chest. Okay. It's a chest full of walnuts, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> and and Ron, you take a wardrobe. <laughs> also our Wheel of Fortune electronic game. And of course the wristwatches. Alright? Excellent stuff. Thanks for playing. <laughs> okay, Carol, you ready? You're gonna go for the big prize. Don't just take it nice and easy. There you are. Just stand there and calm down. OK, as I said, it's time to go for the big prize. Let's remind you exactly what's on offer tonight. Steve. While Carol, you could be going for either the big wheel jackpot of £20,000 or this fabulous luxury five-door family saloon. The very best of luck from everyone here. Woo! Woo! OK, Jen, let's have the envelopes. Hurrah! Ooh. That wasn't her doing that, it was a leg bit like that. <laughs> Which envelope do you want? That one, please. Okie dokie. Jenny, you take that one. Okay. Let's see if I can open this without tearing it. There we are, okay. I can. You're playing for the car. Okay, Carol, you're playing for the car. Good luck, my darling. Okay. Now, obviously, to win the big prize, all you've got to do is solve the puzzle, okay? It has two words which are a well known place. Two words which are a well known place, okay? Also, um, I'm going to ask, to ask you for six letters, five consonants and one vowel. If you've chosen the letters that are in the puzzle, they will light up and help you solve it, OK? Mm -hmm. So, obviously, the more, the better. Clearly, give me the letters, first the consonants. T for Tango, R for Romeo, N for November, L for Lima, D for Delta. And the vowel? A for Apple. OK. Good luck. Now, let's put those into the puzzle. And remember, you can guess as many times as you like. Thanks, Jenny. <coughs> Carol, you have 15 seconds to a solve the puzzle, starting ball, from ball, ball, now. Ball, 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 Sorry, no. Carol. I'm sorry, darling. Do you want to see what they are? Yep. OK. Jenny? There you go. Oh. Palm Beach. Palm Beach. Palm nope. Beach. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. All right. OK. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. well, bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Jenny. Yeah. Well, listen, you don't go away empty, have you? you enjoyed the game? Thank, thank you. Yeah, Marie. Great. Bless Thanks. you. And thank you, Ron, for playing. <laughs> Carol, let me tell you. Okay. They, yeah, well, unlucky. I'm, I'm sorry, darling. All right, thank never you. mind. But you don't go away empty, hand no. Not only do you win those multi million pound showbiz prizes of the Wheel of Fortune game and watch, that's you also. Wonderful. That's what you're looking that's for. Wonderful. That's what you're here for. <laughs> well, you also take away the repro booking case and, of course, the um, pine table and chairs. Excellent yes. stuff. All right. Great. Yeah. Into another show, yeah, Diane? Yeah, well, look, just a minute, though. Did you what? know much about the cinema? Yes, everything. But what? Well, never queue up and don't go during school holidays. <laughs> How about that? Say goodbye, Bradley. Goodbye, Bradley. Thank See you next week on the Wheel of Fortune. The end. Learn from my mistakes. Watching that Wheel of Fortune after one too many gins can be quite 
Uh, spinny. So I've got myself a nice cup of char and I'm ready for more spinning and winning next. We days at one, it's the turn of the slogans and sayings to take centre stage with catchphrase. <laughs>